What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires, and it's one of those days where I can't even keep up with the Marvel news cycle. Initially, it started as Just Blade indefinitely delayed from the last slot in 2024 and Marvel Phase 5, but now there are a ton of dates that have shifted. We're going to break down all of the brand new movements, what the new dates are, why they've moved. I'm also going to speculate just a little bit on what this means for the rest of the multiverse saga. It is not bad news. It's actually to be expected. We're breaking it all down, all the official changes to the Marvel Phase 5 and 6 slate and the rest of the multiverse saga. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. That's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So as I mentioned moments ago in the prologue, it started with Blade being the first of now many projects that have been delayed or moved on the slate that was delayed and indefinitely from the last slot in 2024. Now this seems to have caused a major shift for everything else but the nature of the MCU is it's majorly connected and they have to get it right to wrap up the multiverse saga. The news goes on to include Deadpool 3 has now been delayed by two months. Its original release date was in September of 2024 and now will come out two months later on November 8th, 2024. So not that much of a delay, just more time for them to finish that project. Meanwhile, the Fantastic Four will now premiere on February 14th, 2025 instead of that November release date originally. So basically Deadpool's moved up two months. Fantastic Four has been slid to the beginning beginning of 2025. Then come the Avengers movies, and as I said at least five times at the channel in the last week, there was no way Avengers Secret Wars and King Dynasty would come out in the same calendar year. I was correct. Avengers 6, the official conclusion to the multiverse saga, was supposed to come out on November 7th, 2025, just months after the King Dynasty would come out on May 2nd. Secret Wars has now been moved from November 7th, 2025 to May 1st, 2026. If you're wondering about Avengers King Dynasty though, that's still slated to come out the year before on May 2nd, 2025. Now, this seems to be a developing story and I would not be surprised to find out if either other projects move or more projects get announced. Specifically two films in general, number one, they've told us they're turning Armor Wars now into a film to be developed for the silver screen, presumably in the multiverse saga. Now I speculated in a different video, it might try to take Blade spot, but that would be super ambitious. They'd need to start filming right now. We now know that'll go somewhere else in the multiverse saga. We also know Shang-Chi 2 will come at some point. It's only logical to have that director who's working on King Dynasty get the second part of his saga out for that character development before we see Shang-Chi in either King Dynasty and or Secret Wars. But also Marvel Studios has been working with Sony to try to find a release date for Spider-Man 4 that will also come out before the conclusion of the multiverse saga. And some of these movements and delays may come in response to making one of those slate dates open for Spider-Man where there was already a movie slotted. So this is not bad news. This is the way it goes. Marvel Studios is in a unique position having the MCU the way it sort of feeds off its own fandom. They give us these slate previews because they know that's what we're asking for. But no other studio has ever been in as this beholden to trying to plan out this many movies that have to work together yearly and annually now at this point and going out now 10 years in advance. Marvel Studios Kevin Feige went on record at the beginning of the year before D23, sort of right around Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is actually when I got a chance to meet Kevin Feige for the first time and ask him if they had just gone on the retreat because the Multiverse of Madness premiere was right after that. They said they were going to plan the next 10 years of Marvel. Marvel Studios gives us an insight to the sort of dates and the way the slates look, but they should just issue this it's subject to change. It's always been subject to change. And as I said, this is not bad news in the prologue and this is why. We don't want them to rush things and we don't want them to make mistakes. We want them to get it right in as much time as it takes. So I said in the past, back when the original pandemic delays happened, that we may never get another slate from Marvel again. And because why would they? They don't have to change things if they don't give us an update. But with San Diego Comic-Con, D23, the way the Marvel fandom has grown, they know we want those. So as we proceed into the rest of the multiverse saga, eh, maybe even in the next 24 hours, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of movements and delays to these films. This is the nature of it and really, 
Quite frankly, Marvel Studios, with the number of projects they've tried to now attempt to tie together, especially with the Disney Plus shows added on top, it's a miracle they've still been able to pull it off and in the way that they have. And as far as subject to change, I mean, think about it. They still haven't hired some of these directors. We just found out Michael Waldron is writing Secret Wars. We still don't have a director for Secret Wars. They're casting new actors. Not all of these people have amazingly open timetables and know what they're going to be doing three years from now. Well, in fact, they do know what they'll be doing three years from now. But in the meantime, the subject to change also has to do with the people that they're hiring the moving pieces in the industry so marvel's blanket sort of reasoning and explainer anything changes they always say this it's been a change in production schedule and they're not exactly lying there are a lot of production schedules and for a lot of people so we'll keep you updated throughout the day as far as what's going on with any more delays to the schedule but again let me run this down so to keep you up to date blade's been delayed indefinitely deadpool shifted two months later from september to november of 2024 for Fantastic Four that was in the November slot in 2024 has gone to February of 2025. And Avengers Secret Wars has now moved from 2025 to May of 2026. King Dynasty is still in the same place. Unless they plan to replace some of those release dates, it also feels like they're moving to a three movie a year schedule, which might be a lot more reasonable for what they're trying to do, especially at the end of the multiverse saga. Doesn't mean they won't go back to four films a year at some point, but three films a year gives them a lot more space to work with, a lot more release dates, a lot more leniency, and they have to get the multiverse saga right. I'm down for them to do whatever it takes, but let me know down in the comments, guys. And of course, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We are still giving away PlayStation 5s. Every 20,000 subscribers, the next milestone happens to be 1 million, which we are headlong into, could easily hit by month's end or next. In fact, if everybody who's not subscribed to watch this video hit the subscribe button, I'd actually hit it today, which I know it's crazy and it's not gonna happen, but if you guys have been rocking with me for a while and you haven't subbed yet, no worries, kind of invitation to do so. It enters you for the giveaways, the PlayStations, the other stuff we give away at the channel, but I am so close to hitting a million subscribers, which is even crazy to think about. Um, and I would really appreciate the support if you've supported my music or me here on YouTube. If you support me as a content creator, the best way to show it is for you to hit the subscribe button. My name is Michael Roman. Find me in a couple places. Instagram and Twitter as I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires with the music that you're hearing in the background right now. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. I really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.